Hello. Chasing Shadows is a new stage play adapted from The Metamorphoses, a poem Ovid wrote in Latin 2,000 years ago. It's an epic poem, and epics invariably tell larger-than-life stories from our prehistory. Ovid's poem touches on themes of the natural world, of evolution and organic change. But his business is not science. The Metamorphoses is a collection of fabulous mythical tales, some a little bit scary, all woven together into one epic. In each of these stories, somebody turns into something, a metamorphosis, into a tree or a plant or an animal or a, or a bird, into a trickle of water even. And there are gods, menacing characters, and they too change into things when it suits them. I cannot think of any poem that's had as much influence on poets and writers since, and especially on artists. This painting by Rubens shows the god Apollo chasing the nymph Daphne, who flees, and as she does, she turns into a tree, a laurel tree. Daphne isn't the only victim of a lustful god, as the new world is shown coming to life. You probably know of Medusa the Gorgon. She's certainly scary. One look into her eyes, and you're turned into stone. Ovid tells us Medusa's backstory, how she was once a very pretty girl with lovely hair, whom the god Neptune desired to lie with. He caught her in the temple of Minerva, and afterwards the unforgiving goddess takes it out on the innocent girl and turns her hair into snakes. Chasing Shadows has some of Ovid's original Latin, including in this clip a commentary on a man's hunting dogs pursuing their own master. He, poor fellow, has stumbled upon the goddess Diana, bathing in her favourite pond, deep in the forest. Whoops. Uh, perhaps you know of Acteon. Here he is, look, out with his dogs in the woods. Oh, it's hot. He breaks from the hunt and wanders into the great forest. He was off the path, deep in the wood, and there, <laughs> a noise through the trees and, oh, before his eyes, bathing in a pool, yes, my sister, Diana, and all her nymphs around her, naked. <gasps> oh, qui simul intravit, rorantia fontibus antra. Sicuterant nudae, viso sua pectora numpae, percuseire viro, subitisque lulatibus, omne implevere nemos, circumfus aeque dianam corporibus texere suis. Tamen altior illis, ipsa deas, colloque tem superaminet omnes. Nunc dibe me possito visam velamine nares, si poteris narare licet. Dum dubitate videre canes, primique melampus ignobatesque sagax, latratus signa de deere, nonsios ignobates, spartana gente melampus. In the ruin talii, rapida, vel ocius aura, pampagos, et orcos, et oribas os arcades omnes, ne probonosque valens, et hux cum laile poteron, et pedibus terras, et narebus utilis agre, ulaiusque ferox, nuper percusus ab apro, deque lupo concepta nape pecudesque succute poemenis, et natis comitarta puia duobus, et substricta gerensic ionius ilia ladon, et romas, et 
Kanaka is Tick Take, Tick Risadalke, Let Nivis, La Connet, Willis, Aspalos, Andris, Pray will a Duskala Connet, Christian Fortis, I know, Let Taos, Et Cupio, Wellos, Kumpatel Kiske, Et Negram Medio, Fronten, Distintus, Abalbo, Harpalos, Et Melanos, Kersuto, and Corporal Lacne, Et Patrick Tiles, and Matre, La Connet, and Marty Labros, Et Adios, Et Akuta, Woke Sulacto. The Metamorphoses is full of dark stories, there's no question of that, but Chasing Shadows is lightened with comedy. In fact, as worse and worse things happen in the second half of the play, the funnier it gets. And the comic spark for this is there in Ovid's original poem. The play's stage action works in tandem with the shadow dances, which are created by our partners from Ukraine the extraordinary Shadow Theatre Verba. That they are still managing to perform despite what's happening to their country is itself a story. To bring Chasing Shadows to the stage, we're going to need your help. Please pass this on to anyone you think who may be interested in working with us or supporting us in some way. Any help is gratefully received. Thank you. And remember, these stories are not real. They're only fables. <laughs> hmm.